This is the second part of my Raspberry Pi experiment. What I'm going to show you now is how to power the Raspberry Pi using a battery. As you can see here, there's no wire connected. For on the power supply input I was able to run the, the Raspberry Pi using a 5 volts supply from an 8 volts battery as I'm going to show you later Now, the really board that I built is already installed on this vacuum cleaner cradle. I made some few modifications in order for this really board to supply the Pi bolts for my Raspberry Pi. The software that I'm using is just the same, but uh, I am I'm continually uh, continuously uh, developing in order for all the functions to work properly. And, I, and now I'm going to show you how the two motors is being driven. And controlled by the Raspberry Pi. This is the steering steering control signal without the power supply that goes to the motor of the steering block or steering mechanism now using home button on my uh, wireless keyboard activated the power supply and spacebar to switch it off home by pressing the home button arrow keys to control the forward movement or the forward signal and right left signal that will activate 
the drive motors and also the steering motor without the power and now I'm going to power it up using a home button to switch on the power for the motors and now the signal that will go to the motor that will activate the motor oops I forgot to put the power supply Now, ah, I built a switch here for safety. You can see now the motor and the speed control. how good responsive it is And now the steering motor. You can change the angle of the steering tire by adjusting the speed of pressing the right and left button. But this can be changed also using the software values. I mean uh, the value of timings in the software. Or the BBC basic program, which I'm going to show you later on.
you can see here the signal that goes to the relay drives relay drive also goes to the monitor Right now, I'm using the power supply to power the Raspberry Pi because it, Raspberry Pi will not work at a voltage below 4.8 volts. And I'm connected the power supply to the battery directly because it has gone flat. Using the 5 volts regulator. installed on the relay board there are two pie balls regulator here this one and this one they supply the pie bolts that goes to raspberry Pi, and the five bolts for the 8 drive 8 Darlington IC that drives the 8 motors Again, you need to activate the GPIO module in order for the BBC Basic with the GPIO commands to work. This is now the program. This is the test for the eight outputs. So to activate the relay driver you will also see it on the program or the software I designed and written On my next video, I will uh, explain and show how how this program work, and will show you how all uh, most GPIOs are being utilized as an output. As you can see here, this is an example of a routine.
for the left turn. And that's it for now until my next video. Bye for now.